Well, the first stage is obviously having a very thorough clinical examination of the horse. And then once you have uh, honed in on which, which joint you feel may be uh, causing a poor performance in the animal, is performing an adequate diagnostic uh, process. So that'd be the uses, usage of intra-articular analgesia and imaging, uh, which would standardly be uh, radiographs and then plus or minus advanced imaging, such as uh, computer tomography or um, magnetic resonance imaging. So once an adequate diagnosis has been formulated uh, and the case is deemed appropriate for the product to be used, uh, we would then you know, sedate the animal and aseptically prepare the injection site. So the injection process, it does vary on the dose that you're using in the joint. So again, it, it ranges from one to three mils. And uh, there are different techniques that people can use and it's certainly, my technique may vary from to another vet that uses it. But certainly for a one mil dosage, uh, it's simply you know, insert the needle into the joint and then attach the syringe onto the end of it and inject. Uh, when you're getting using two or three mil doses, some clinicians prefer to uh, deposit those one mil uh, individual doses into a larger syringe and then administer in one dose. Uh, however, others like to just sequentially uh, attach the one mil dosage syringe onto the needle. Post injection, uh, I would typically wrap a fetlock joint and coffin joints. However, such as today that you've seen in the video, uh, I don't wrap a knee uh, and the same would apply to hock joints and also the stifle. So once the horse has been injected, we advise to rest the horse for 48 hours before starting a light exercise program for a two week period before increasing exercise back up to uh, a standard level of what the horse was at before injection. And uh, it is important to really try and give that horse that rest time to allow the product to, to work uh, to its maximum efficacy and longevity, which we do know can take four to six weeks to take effect. And also the longevity of the product uh, is also affected by uh, those initial few weeks. And if you have any concerns uh, with your horse post-administration of the product, by all means get in contact with your vet and they'll put you in the right direction.